So it's Tuesday, it's not a lot of people out here today. So basically got the lake to myself, the whole beach. Wow, that's pretty nice. Okay, I'm out front of uh, Cape Cod Camp Resort and Cabins here in uh, East Falmouth. We've been here since I uh, came in Saturday. Saturday evening, it's now uh, Tuesday. And uh, we're still gonna stay another day. Here's the entryway, it's a very nice park. It's a uh, good Sands Park with a 10 10 rating. And I'll show you more of the park as we go. All right, that's the uh, front entranceway. Now I'm up top the hill, so I'm just panning around. And uh, there go some RV sites right there. They have over 250 sites, um, different size lens, hookups, pull throughs. They have plenty of cabins and they have a really nice tent area. I'm gonna show you that as well. So coming around, that's some of the maintenance facilities, uh, places where you buy your uh, your ice and your firewood. Come on around, that's the camp store coming up. And what I like about this park and is that uh, everyone is identified with the church, saying the RV, resort, the staff. So that makes it great because I've been in facilities where the uh, camp staff was identified and you, people walking around and you know on the uh, golf carts and kind of coming to you didn't know if they who they were so this makes it really neat so if you need help or just know who's uh, snooping around your campground you know it's the staff all right finally entering actually the campsites uh, and cabins and there go the cabins right there on the right that's actually my sister's car the gray one she uh, drove up from Maryland and that's my daughter's car, that black car, in the distance. And uh, they had the cabins, but uh, they drove up from Atlanta. So all to visit my daughter up here. Uh, she's going, she's uh, going to school up in Boston, Cambridge area. So they got more cabins, and they go part of the maintenance facility. Over there. In the distance is the swimming pool and all that stuff. I'll show you that a little later in the video. And further coming around, some more to campsite or the loop coming around the backside. Okay, this is near the front entrance. There is a uh, pool right there on the left, and they also have a pool up top, a bigger pool. They have a full uh, length basketball court. They have a play area for the kids. Uh, pavilion. This is a nice uh, field if you want to play soccer or some other sport uh, group or group activity. There's a play area right there. Coming around, I'll show you the beach part with the pond. They have uh, uh, a lot of water sports you can do and they have volleyball as well. So it's pretty nice recreational facilities here. Alright, giving you another view of the tent tenting area. And it's very nice. It's uh, early October. Today is October the 6th, actually, and uh, moving around. Very nice day. It's about 65 degrees. Very sunny. And you see how shady the location is. So there's actually a tent right there in the distance. They've been here. I came in Saturday. They've been here ever since I came in. So I just showed you the... Uh, Athletic field and the playground and pool. That's it in the distance right now. I just want to show you some of the cabins. They have all different shapes and sizes of cabins and designs. So that's one of many right there. Some more cabins. So they have plenty of cabins. I was kind of impressed with that. Those of you, those those of you all don't have RV. Okay, further up the, uh, the drive, you see our. Uh, Blackout Easy camper right there. Uh, pretty much, it's Tuesday, it's around one or two o'clock. And pretty much, you know, it was a mass uh, exodus on uh, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. But it's a pretty nice campground, plenty of big trees and lots of shade. So we have uh, not a lot of people here today. A lot of birds chirping. Pretty slick. All right, further down uh, the driveway, so you got RV storage, you got boat storage as well. 
And coming around in the view on our left is the dog park, or dog run, it's fenced in. Got two sections, so it's uh, pretty nice. So I see a lot of dogs out here, so it's really pet friendly. Uh, just have to be on a leash, and you have to pick up after your little, your little pooch. So they have a little bit everything for everybody, and it's uh, say I see a lot of pets out here, so it's really pet friendly. Okay, I'm coming down the driveway to the lake. Uh, you can pull your RV around and kind of head up that way, and that's. Uh, more sites up there, different loops, but here's the, uh, trying to give you a good view of the lake. And it's pretty, pretty nice. It has uh, paddle boats you can rent. It has uh, stand-up paddle boards you can rent also. Uh, fishing, uh, they have, uh, if you don't have your own fishing rod, you can rent that up there at the camp store. They got live bait, everything you need to fish. Um, also right here, got nice, sorry, bouncing around. Got a nice picnic area. Have volleyball uh, up there at the top they have a mini golf up there on the left side let's kind of walk down here I'm gonna try not to run into anything here but let's come around to the lake it's pretty slick all right so it's got beach uh, right here so it's real sandy just like a beach got boats like I said you can take out and it's really nice. Kind of chilly today out here. The wind is blowing. Uh, it's probably 65 degrees. That's going to be the, the high for the day. But it's really nice. So sorry for the rough bouncing. Kind of walking down here. But uh, I was just trying to give you a, a different view of the lake. Kind of walking down here. It's really nice. I didn't bring the kayaks this time again. It was kind of a long trip to bring the kayaks. So I'm gonna come around again. Yeah, it should be a little stable now. You probably hear the wind blowing. So it's a Tuesday. It's not a lot of people out here today. So I basically got the lake to myself, the whole beach. But, uh, it's pretty nice.